Hi everyone, um, I wanted to take some time to shoot a little video to show you about some new technology that we have in the office. Uh, we've been really excited about it, we've been using it now for a few months and a lot of our patients have been able to try it and the parents who are sitting here and with us uh, watching the treatment have seen it but most of you don't know about this great new tool that we have um, so I thought it would be great to show you. Um, show it off and explain a little bit, but then also maybe try it on myself because we use this all the time and I always tell the kids, don't worry, it's not like a shot, it's not going to hurt, but I haven't really tried it on myself yet. So I'm going to speak the truth and try it and show all of you guys how it works. So what this is, is it's called the STA wand. We call it the magic wand. It's the single tooth anesthesia system. And what it is, it's a special way of delivering Novocaine so that it doesn't hurt. Um, I think for a lot of kids and adults, getting the shot, getting that Novocaine in the beginning is the worst part of the whole appointment. And I always say getting good anesthesia or making sure that the tooth is completely numb is one of our best tools for keeping kids calm um, because if they're not in pain during a procedure, you know, why would they be upset? They're just laying there with some weird stuff in their mouth watching TV. So um, I'm really, really excited to have this in our office because the way that we've been able to use it is for a lot of kids, they don't even know they're receiving Novocaine. And besides the gross taste, it really is just like another thing in their mouth. Um, so, so what it does, it's a computer. So you can think of your um, traditional syringe that you know definitely looks like a scary shot. Um, now this just comes with a little hand piece um, like this. So it doesn't look like a needle at all. And um, what happens is, instead of my thumb pushing the syringe to make the Novocaine come out, um, we have this computer, and it's attached to the, it's actually lidocaine that we use, not Novocaine, it's just a different version of the same sort of medicine, but um, you load it in here, and actually a computer pushes it out at such a slow rate that only one drop per second comes out. That's slower than my thumb could ever um push it out and the one of the things that makes injections painless is going really really slow um, so I used to think that I was really good at giving you know painless injections with the syringe but even I can't beat a computer so um, that's one of the reasons why it's painless is because it's pushed out really really slowly um, but in the, and you know because of the because of that, there's no need to push it. So I just love that it doesn't look like a needle. You know, it just kind of looks like a wand. Um, yes, it is a needle. There is a little point there. It's also very tiny, which is good. Um, if they do catch a glimpse of it, but I make sure the kids never see that. Um, and yeah, it just it's not not scary, and it fits really nicely in my hand, so I have very good control. Because not all of our patients sit perfectly still, so having something small that I can use, you know more of my hand to kind of stabilize it, it's really, really nice. Um, so beyond doing that and delivering the anesthetic really slowly, it also, um, the technology is that if you, instead of like, traditionally you would, you know, put the needle into the gums and inject it, um, and you'd have to pierce through the tissue and that really pinched at first and then over time it would build up and maybe swell and that could feel painful also. Um, but the way that this lets us do it is instead of piercing into the gums, you actually slide the needle tip in between the gum and the tooth, so it's in that little pocket. And I angle it slightly so that it's right up against the tooth and it starts delivering that Novocaine drop by drop. So, you know, you don't have to like puncture anything um, and the, the anesthetic is building up even before the needle is pushed down all the way to the bottom of that pocket. So really it's not, it, it shouldn't elicit any sort of pain. And the liquid is going in so slow, slowly, like I said, that you know they claim it's not perceptible to our nerves. So it's really cool. Um, and then another thing with that method of injecting the teeth, it is called the single tooth anesthesia system because instead of numbing, let's say we're doing like a bottom back tooth, usually I'd have to numb like the whole side of that mouth because the nerve that numbs um, bottom teeth, you can only get to it um, all the way in the back. So if you're doing like a tooth right here, you end up numbing the whole mouth, which is it's not so great for young children because when they leave their appointment, they're going to go home and be numb for like two hours and their whole mouth is going to feel weird. And a lot of kids end up chewing on their lip, they'll come back with big swellings. 
Um, and so what this does is I can numb any tooth and only numb that tooth. You're not going to get the, as much of the gums or the lips. Um, a lot of kids feel it in their nose if we do a front tooth. Uh, so they don't go home with that like really numb feeling. And so we say, you know, if, if you trust your kid to go back to school, it's not going to be such a big deal to, to have an appointment and then go back to school because their whole lip is not going to be numb. Um, it also lets me do, you know, more than one teeth, tooth in different areas. So usually um, in the past, I didn't like numbing like two teeth on either side on the bottom because then they'd go home with their entire bottom lip numb, which is not pleasant for an adult and really not toler tolerated well by kids. Um, but now, like this morning, I did um, two baby teeth on either side on the bottom and she left with maybe a little tingling in her tooth but no lip sensation and she did really well and she was four. So um, it's really been a huge you know, game changer for us in the orange chair room and a lot of our patients have really liked it but I want to see what I think so I was brave enough <laughs> to try out myself because no one else here knows how to use it except for me so if I want to experience it then I have to try it out on my own okay so um let's see how this goes <laughs> Uh, one thing it does is that this machine talks to me, so I don't need to be looking at it while I'm injecting a child, um, and it has a foot pedal. And what I do is I mark the bevel so that I know exactly, all right, here we go, I'm a little scared. Um, so I know exactly which surface of the, of the tooth to push this along. So I'm going to line it up with my tooth. I'll do this one, I guess. And like I said, I'm just going to slide it in. So I'm going to jump in here and play over a little audio because I wasn't really able to talk as I was giving myself the injection. And I want to walk you through it. Yeah, I don't really feel anything. And the reason I don't feel anything is even before the needle is inserted all the way to the base of the pocket, there's already some anesthetic flowing in there. So um, it really can be painless. As you see, I'm not really in any true discomfort here. Trust me, I'm a wimp. You would be able to see it. And things are going pretty good. And slowly, slowly getting numb, which is great. Great job, Dr. Eric. <laughs> You can move it around to different spots. Oh, gross. Yeah, one thing is that the lidocaine really tastes terrible. Um, and because the needle's not injected like into the tissues, sometimes it can drip out and it tastes really, really bad. So usually I have my assistant there spraying water or suctioning, so I wasn't able to do that. So you'll see I'm about to like get really grossed out by the taste. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't have the water to rinse me out, but I figured I'd rinse it. So you can actually see how my gums are kind of white in that area. <laughs> Sorry to zoom up on my teeth, but that shows you that um, the gums have numb. It feels really weird. I definitely like felt the, you know, that there's something getting stuck in between your gums and your teeth, but it's not like a painful sensation. Um, it delivers the anesthetic, so you know it's beeping. The beeping kind of tells me if I'm in the right position and how the pressure is going, and I can adjust based on what the beeps are saying. Um, but it's really cool. So I'll probably have a numb tooth for the rest of the day. It usually takes longer. I didn't give myself a whole dose because obviously I'm not doing any uh, filling work today. But it's really awesome, and it's been really um, a great practice builder for our patients um, because I think. That's a really scary thing for a lot of kids and adults, so we're happy to offer something that makes our visits for them a lot easier. So, have a thank you.